Today I'm excited to share with you one of the most helpful Sony camera customizations and that's the Zebra Overlay. Now hold on because some of you may already know what this Zebra setting does and have tried it out before but you might not know the trick to turning it into an absolute game changer. First let me go over what the Zebra setting is. Zebras are large African mammals that are part of the equity family. The zebra pattern is a setting first founded in video work that shows an overlay in your viewfinder or the back of the LCD screen with black and white stripes representing where your image is in danger of being overexposed. This overlay is only a tool for quickly seeing problematic overexposure of an image and it will not appear in the actual photos you take. You can think of it like the blinkies in playback mode on your camera but shown in real time. A major advantage of using the mirrorless cameras is that you have access to these zebras even if you are shooting stills. Putting two and two together, this means that you can have an overexposure warning shown to you in real time even before you snap a photo. That means there's no more guesswork, there's no more test shots, there's no more checking for blinkies, there's no more deciphering the histogram. And speaking of the histogram, the Zebra also has a critical advantage over the live histogram on Sony cameras because it will show you in a real time overlay when your subject is about to be clipped. This is in contrast to the histogram which is showing the exposure readings throughout the entire frame and it's leaving you having to do more guesswork with which parts of the histogram is representing your subject. Finally, maybe it's just me but the histogram on Sony cameras is really hard to decipher. It's hard for me to tell where the far left and far right edges are and it's pretty small on the display. Not to mention that you have to take your eyes off the subject to actually look at it in the corner. Zebras fix all of the histogram's downsides. Sounds awesome, right? To turn on Zebras for the Sony cameras, first head into the menu. On the Sony a7R 4 I'm going to go to the purple camera 2 tab on top. Then move to page 7 of 11. The location of the setting may be different on other Sony cameras. The fourth option down on the a7R 4 is Zebra setting. And inside there, we will turn Zebra display to on. Below Zebra display, there is a Zebra level setting. Head inside and notice that there are going to be a number of options ranging from 70 to 100 plus. The higher the number, the less sensitive the zebra setting will be, meaning that the overlay won't appear until exposure becomes more and more dangerously close to clipping. Now here's the problem, solution, and the trick to making it perfect. The problem is that even at the 100 plus setting, when I open that raw photo in Lightroom, the areas that the camera told me were in danger of clipping thanks to the zebra overlay actually have a few stops of exposure left until it's truly clipped. This means that there's just more guesswork about the exposure at the time of shooting the photo and the zebra isn't solving anything. The solution is a little bit sneaky because based on the given numbers for the zebra level setting, you would think that the limit is 100 plus, but that's not true. Go down to C1 or C2 options. Press right and you will see that we can set our own number and that number can be higher than 100. It actually goes up to 109. Now here's my trick to always knowing exactly when my raw photo will be overexposed. First set the type to lower limit. Then set the lower limit number to 107 plus. In my testing with the a7R4 using Lightroom as my raw image processor, this is the magic number. For your camera, raw processing software, or personal preference, the number may be a little different. As I'm adjusting my camera's exposure settings such as the shutter speed, the aperture, or the ISO, I know absolutely that when I see the zebra overlay flash up, that's my true limit when I get the photo into post processing. With this setting for my bird photography, I can shoot white feathers all day long without clipping the highlights while still raising the exposure of the shadow areas as much as possible for a clean ETTR exposed to the right workflow. All the guesswork with exposure is now completely gone and I find this to be one of the most game changing settings on a Sony. Try it out, experiment with the lower limit number if you need to for your setup and I think you'll agree. I'm here in Lightroom and I just want to show you why the zebras are a game changing feature when you use the custom setting in it. And so I got these four photos taken of the strange looking bird. So the first two here are going to be with the 100 plus setting and the second two are with my custom setting. So the first two you'll notice that, uh, well the first one is going to be before the zebra uh, appears and then the second one is after the zebra appears. But even for this one, after the zebra it should be showing on your LCD screen or in the viewfinder, it would be showing up right around here. You'll see that um, 
if we're looking at the histogram numbers here, so it's going to show some percentages, and we see like 96, 97, 95%. Once those hit 100%, that means it's completely blown out and it's overexposed and there's no recovering it. But you'll see that it's still in the mid 90s, so it's got some room to grow. Uh, if we raise the exposure on this and I turn on the highlight warnings, you'll see it doesn't appear till about like a stop and a half up. And so if we go to my custom setting, you'll see this is before the zebras appeared and then the second one is after the zebras appeared. And so after the zebras appeared, you'll notice I'm going to change the exposure. I'm going to drop it by quite a bit. And you'll see that it starts to get gray here. That's because the detail is completely lost and it's starting to clip here. And this is after the zebra appeared, so it's working as it should. But let's go to right before the zebra appears. And I lower the exposure by a lot. You'll see that this doesn't turn that weird gray color. It still has the detail and it's bringing it back because it's at the very limit and it still has that detail. So the zebras actually do mean that it's overexposed. Instead of adding more guesswork to it, instead of showing you that you're about to clip at some point and you still have some room to play, it shows you exactly what's being overexposed to the point of no recovery. And I find that way more valuable. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with a friend. I hope you subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you next time.